The second control of the system and application access control is called secure logon procedures. This control states that a secure authentication technique should be used when trying to access a system. There are several secure techniques that are available to an organization, each at a different cost and complexity. The simplest and most common form is to use a username and a password. Access cards and one-time passcodes or tokens, are a technique where a user owns the authentication tool. A third form is something that is part of the person who wants to get authenticated, such as a fingerprint, or a retina scan, or even a face recognition. This biometric technique tends to be the hardest for an attacker to bypass. The system that a user wants to authenticate to, should not provide very detailed information to its purpose, or the information and services that it provides. This is to avoid divulging unnecessary information to a potential attacker. There are many measures that would make the logon procedure safer. If the user uses a password to authenticate, then it should be complex enough to avoid dictionary attacks. The system should not allow brute force attacks, by allowing only few logon attempts before locking the user completely. The password should be not shown on the screen in clear text, to protect the user from shoulder surfing. It shouldn't be sent on the network in clear text either, to avoid it being detected if the data is being sniffed. It should use an advanced encryption standard as well. For critical systems, the logon sessions should be limited to a short time, like an hour, then the system is automatically logged out. This decreases the time that an attacker has, in case he was successful of hijacking the logon session. All logon attempts should be logged with specific details, such as timestamps and the logon machine details. Once a user has been successfully logged on, he should be notified to when was the last time his account was logged into, so he would be able to recognize if somebody else had access to his account.